Hello Internet, I am Mihai, it is part 27. It is my favorite video because today I will delete the running application. I love deleting stuff. Open the terminal, log into your server, mine is ssh, my username, at the IP address. I write the password and I am logged in. Clear the terminal. Go to the application folder. It is cd home node.js server user backend application. Enter it. List the content. And this folder is the folder of the currently running code. I want the Jenkins to delete it. I want to open the same in File Explorer. Open a new tab. I'm on Linux, so I can log in into my server. I write sftp colon slash slash my username, the IP address, slash home. Enter it. Enter the Node.js server folder, backend application, and it is the folder Jenkins should delete, Node.js backend. Here are the files and folders of the currently running application. I want to create the Jenkins stage. Open the IntelliJ pipeline repository. In the Jenkins files folder, open deploy app Jenkins file. It is it. Scroll down to the backup current version stage. That is it. Here below, create a new stage. Just Copy this part, paste it here, zoom in a bit, and the stage name will be delete current version. Timeout is five minutes. Create your favorite steps and script. That is it. Now I need two variables. I will copy them from the previous stage. Copy it, past. It is application from the CI CD project config map and application path. Now create the delete script. I call the shell command. Here I write script and the label. In label I write delete running application. Nice. And in the script I write rm for remove. I write dash dash force. It is for ignoring non-existing files so that Jenkins pipeline doesn't fail if no JS backend folder doesn't exist. I write recursive so that the command enters all the subfolders. And here I put at the end the application path. From the line 187. The last element, it is sudo. If I run it without sudo, it will fail. The command is ready. I will check git changes. That is it. I created a new stage. I want to commit it from the terminal. So open File Explorer. Enter the pipeline folder. And here open the terminal. That is it. It's my path. Here I write git status. I will add the file to the stage. I will write dot to add all the files. Check the status again. Write the commit message. Dash M for the message. Open single quotes. Create it. Open double quotes. Delete current version close double quotes space stage enter delete current version close the single code enter to commit 
and it was committed. Check git status. Nothing to commit. Push to the remote repository. It was pushed. I want to run the pipeline. Open the browser. I'm already logged in into Jenkins. Open the folder of the pipeline. Open the pipeline. Click build with parameters. Branch name is main. Build. I will also show you that the server is running right now. It is it. You see it, it is running for almost 10 minutes. The pipeline finished. It is the delete current version stage. The service should be stopped. Yes, indeed, it is stopped. Open the logs. Scroll down. Here Jenkins archived the application, entered the delete current version stage, and ran the command to delete this folder from this path. Pipeline status is success. I will show you in the terminal the folder is deleted. LSLA to list the content. Node.js backend is deleted. I will do the same from the file explorer. Refresh. And Node.js backend is gone. Open the backups folder. And here is the backup of Node.js backend. I can open the zip file. Here are the files and folders which were in the Node.js backend folder. I want to run the pipeline again. Build. It finished. Open the logs. Scroll down to the end. Pipeline status is success. Here is the delete up running application stage and the command. Open the file explorer. Refresh to confirm that the Node.js backend folder is not present. Open the backups, refresh it. And here you see the mark no backup Node.js backend 21, zero bytes. Jenkins created it because the Node.js backend folder wasn't present. Jenkins has no file to backup, so it created an empty file. 21 is the number of the pipeline. You see here 21, that is this one, and in the URL 21. Open the diagram, make the stage white, and it is all. Now Jenkins can delete the currently running code version. I will stop the server, sudo shutdown, now. The server is stopped. Thank you for watching.